Let's talk about code. Let's talk about the other C, cross fit. I don't know who of you have been either had exposure to this particular tribe, but they're a species unto themselves. They talk in a language that only they understand. Ham wraps, burpees, wads, and the box. And wads and box and even burpees are not what you think it is. These are all terms that denote the exercises, the container, what happens within this gym revolution that's happened worldwide. Tribes create a language internally that becomes like the, almost like their own code of communicating. The tribes of, of support also gets, uh, support and loyalty also gets created around the fundamental way we are in the world. And that goes to the values. You as the owner, founder, uh, senior employee, whatever you are, are have accountability towards the values that sit inside of the organization. Southwest Airlines, the blueprint for Kalula and a zillion other low cost airlines across the world, the first one to pioneer this, this sort of the low cost but quality um, idea. And what they said is they will treat their employees the same way as they want their employees to treat the customer. It seems simple, right? But they put it into the DNA of their business. Let's go back to those CrossFitters. Greg Lassman was the founder of CrossFit and basically he said, we have to build a system that is can withstand all the shiny objects along the way. Because if we don't, we will get distracted. That's our biggest challenge is all these opportunities will be flying at us as we grow. And we need to figure out what it is that we do, right? So 14,000 gyms worldwide, the next biggest brand is Planet Fitness with 1,400. And they did that by not getting distracted by all the other stuff that they could be doing. And they would do what they do, which is get people 